If English is your second language and you've been dreaming about speaking English with a perfect accent, your dream might just come true today. I'm about to spill the beans on how to ditch that foreign sound in your English when you are in the spotlight of your videos. Now take a look at this clip. You might have seen some disturbing videos where children, if not toddlers, fight each other in the ring. Now, would you let your child practice Thai boxing after seeing this? Or would you say no? You can hear the difference, right? Let's go with that once more for the folks in the back. So here is me just chatting away in English with my charming Norwegian accent. I could ask you how you're doing, or I could tell you that I'm doing just fine to illustrate a sort of point, right? Now brace yourself for the accent makeover. Here it is. So here's me just chatting away in English with my charming Norwegian accent. I could ask you how you're doing, or I could tell you that I'm doing just fine to illustrate uh, sort of point, right? Voila! Did you catch that? The contrast between my usual voice and the wizardry of AI tweaking my accent? The problem is that uh, at the moment you're not going to be able to, you know, generate natural sounding voice from video generators alone. That's why you really need this method that I will show you. However, my accent isn't the thickest on the block so you might not notice a huge difference. This method works no matter how strong your accent is, and also no matter what kind of accent you have. Picture your sound with a full Hollywood makeover package, and you got it. Your voice will sound exactly as you want it to. I'm not gonna hold any hostages here, if you are tech savvy, I will quickly give you the roadmap to how I turned my ordinary voice into this AI godly version of myself. But first, let's just tap, click, smash, punch, or perhaps just obliterate the like button before we start. Could you do that? Thank you. So. Basically, what I did was to find a voice that I liked. For this, you can use any text to voice. Then go to the application like Eleven Labs and clone your own voice. Next, I would use my preferred voice, and now we're gonna do audio to audio to make my own voice echo that of the chosen preferred AI voice, right? So this way, my own voice takes on the words and tonality of the chosen preferred AI voice, right? The last step would be to go to a program such as Heijin and use audio to video to generate your avatar speaking. But before you can do that, you obviously need to make an avatar in Heijin and then you're finished. Out comes this perfectly crafted accent that you've been dreaming about. Now, if you didn't get all the details here, don't worry, I'm gonna go through everything in detail. So let me just go to my office and I'll show you. Okay, so here we are in 11 Labs that I've used to clone my own voice. So I'm gonna choose that voice lab. So this is where we create our voices. Um, so the, the thing you have to do before this uh, is to generate the quality and tonality of the voice. So I've done this before the video, so the video wouldn't be that long. But you can go to any app for that. You could do it here in voice lab. You could just find a voice that you like and then Whatever you want that voice to say, you just write it normally like a text to audio, text to voice. And then 
when you're happy with the result, then you come here and then you need a clone of yourself. And I got that right here. So I'm going to go into this one, use. And then instead of text to speech, we're going to choose speech to speech here. And then you could actually also just record here. We're going to just use a recording that we are happy with. So that's why we just upload it. And I think it was. Um, so this one, you could actually hear. OK, let's hear how the original sounds like. So here's me just chatting away in English with my charming Norwegian accent. I could ask you how you're doing, or I could tell you that I'm doing just fine to illustrate uh, sort of point, right? So now we're going to choose that, and then we just generate with that. So here's me just chatting away in English with my charming Norwegian accent. Okay, so yeah, when I listen to that, I'm pretty happy with that. And this one is like the first try, but sometimes it doesn't say it exactly how you want it to be. So then you have to work with it a little bit. Download it from here. Um, okay, and now we're going to go to HeyGen, and I'm going to choose Avatar. And then I already have myself as an avatar. I could use the fine tune one. Oh, so, so create a video. So right now I'm not going to bother with putting in a background, I guess. Uh, but I could just, you know, I had this background from before. So I could just, if I wanted to, I could just set that as a background. Or I could make a new, I would probably make a new one for each video. And then instead of writing here, we're just going to upload the, um, the recording that we just did. So audio script, upload, upload. That was 11 labs. And now we could just check just to be sure once that uploads to see if so we can. here's me just chatting away in English with. OK, so that's right. And then just go submit. All right, there we go. And then we have to wait for this video to finish. You can see here. All right, so now it's finished and we can take a look at it. So here's me just chatting away in English with me. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, so I just want to offer some final thoughts here on how to use this in the real world. If you're on the fence about going full avatar in your videos, there might be a couple of things to consider. As you already know, avatars can sometimes leave your content feeling a tad robotic. But thanks to this method, this is now mostly because the avatar is a bit stiff and monotone in his visual presentation. If you're using this method outlined today, the audio will be very much sounding like a human. However, it is worth noting that it can be a lot of work using this method, as you have to type everything that you say, then put it into a second application, then a third, and then you have to clone yourself both in terms of voice and video. My last point here is the ethical pickle. Are you cool with presenting a digital doppelganger of yourself? This is not really you, right? Food for thought, anyways. I would really like to hear how you intend to use this technology in the comments down below. Maybe you'll even figure out a way to use it that I haven't even thought about. Okay, thank you for watching and bye for now.